we're going to access files and we haven't really looked at that before so I'm just in a public static void main here and I'm going to make a file called file and first thing I'll notice you have to import Java IO file so go ahead and do that that'll take care of the error and so we're going to make a new file and you'll notice the constructor there's no constructor that has uh, no arguments and it's a little hard to read these but we're going to use the third one that just takes a string and it's going to be a file name so you could use file name.txt uh, let's just go ahead and call it something weird uh, I just had lunch tacos are good all right it was Cinco de Mayo so here's our new file. Now you could run this, but it won't actually uh, produce any results that you can look at. Uh, so let's go and see what this uh, file object can do. So I'm just typing the uh, name and then period, and that will give us all the methods file uh, can do. And we're gonna go create new file right here. Now notice it throws an IO exception. We're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, so it creates a new empty file, uh, if and only if a file with this name does not yet exist. And look that it returns a Boolean. And I'm going to see if I can scroll down on this. Don't worry about file locking. That's outside the scope of this class. But it just means if you open a file, you can't open a file twice. Uh, so file locking locks the file to one program accessing it or one thread accessing it. All right, throws IO exception. Where's the return? Returns, here we go. True if the name file does not exist and was successfully created. So we're going to create new file. Now it's going to return a Boolean, so we're going to put this inside an if statement. And it's going to return true if the file was created. I want to give this a file name that's a string. So I may want to use this later. Name, file, now. now I could definitely use just name uh, was created. But let's go, instead of just grabbing the name, I'm going to go with the file object. And if you look here, there's a get name. Just to be extra safe, make sure that it actually got the name I think it got. File name was created. OK. So here we have an issue. There could be an IO exception that occurred. And when might this occur? Well, if you don't have write access to the directory, or the folder that this file is going into. And we're going to cover where this file goes and how to figure that out very soon. But there's a chance you created, a, you tried to create a file in a directory you do not have write access to. And when I say you, I mean the, uh, in this case, NetBeans. Uh, or if you're going to run it from the command line, then I think that uses, I'm not sure, uh, either the whatever Java process uses or your own user uh, file access. But anyways. We have to deal with this. So you can either throw, just declare you're gonna throw it or you can surround uh, with a try catch. So let's go surround whole block with the try catch. So it's gonna try to do all this. Now technically this is the only line that actually could create that uh, error, but putting these in isn't the worst. Um, the only bad thing about having these inside the try is you can't access file. I want to highlight what I want. You can't access file or name outside, meaning after the try catch. So because of that, I'm going to bring these two up above. Okay, so we try to create a new file. Uh, now, else, this means the file already existed. And I don't know why I'm not duplicating here. Come on. 
one. So I'm going to just print out it already exists. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. This is just the default uh, catch code right here, which I believe will just print out the IO exception. We're not going to see that because at least in NetBeans, where your file is created, that process has read and write access to that directory. So here we go. Tacos are good was created. Okay, congratulations. You made your first file. We're going to look at the absolute path in the next video.